everybody. So I just wanted to give a quick update on the uh, 20 gallon drop off build. Um, as you can see I got the sump completed um, and that you know is going to go underneath the stand. Um, for this we're going to have three drains basically. Um, one's going to be a full siphon and then you have your return on the right. Um, and here's the plumbing underneath the uh, stand starting from the left. Basically that's your secondary drain. Then you have your main drain, your full siphon that I can tune um, with this gate valve right here. Um, and I still need to, you know, brace these so they're moving a little bit, but they will be pinned down. And then finally you have your uh, emergency drain just coming into the sump chamber. So starting from the left, it goes underneath the first baffle, hits the next baffle, goes into the skimmer uh, compartment chamber, I should say, goes up and over, down, that's going to be full of pond matrix, goes through the pond matrix, down and under the last baffle, and finally back into the return, which, for this right now, I'm just running a uh, CJ, uh, I think the name of the pump is, and it's a, I think it's a 3.0 version. So here's behind the tank, you can see your three drains, uh, you got your full siphon, uh, your secondary drain, and then lastly the emergency drain. I mean I haven't filled this up or tested it yet so some of the heights of the pipes and, and design might change a little bit back there but not much. And then uh, just use the, you know quite a few unions to easily take this apart if I ever needed to clean or you know maintenance and that's the uh, return. Um, so yeah all in all I think it's a pretty easy self-explanatory plumbing job and it uh, turned out pretty well. So as always, you know, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, happy reef. Cheers.